Hey guys, Silence Seal here. Welcome back to a long waited Uta Macron's video. Um, it's been busy uh, for me, especially since I think some of you guys know I flew to Japan to attend Macross Crossover Live and it was awesome! So, <laughs> if you guys want to hear what I mentioned about Crossover Live, um, the video that I live stream on uh, for my YouTube Facebook page um, can be seen on the, in the description down below. Um, yeah, go check it out and hear what I have to say regarding um, the event itself or you could wait until I upload um, my vlog version of my Japan trip and probably from there I, I will probably describe how the crossover life is once again in a bit more um, detail I guess because the live stream was really just off the top of my head so I don't know <laughs> anyway guys um, we're gonna talk about all the recent gachas that has been uh, come and gone since my last gacha video so let's take a look at um, two of the gachas that I missed out first um, which belongs to Cheryl and uh, Mikumo um, so these Two gachas were from the last event which I completely didn't really play. I kind of played only on the last day of the event itself because that's when I actually returned from Japan. Alright, so let's take a look at Cheryl's uh, episode plate first and let's talk about how useful it is before um, you decide maybe if the plate returns in a future uh, gacha and you might want to consider spending your stones on it because you missed out on it or probably you want to try and obtain the episode plate for your favorite diva once again because you failed to do so the first time round. Alright, so looking at Cheryl's, um, 3601. A very very high total score, pretty well balanced stats on soul, voice and charm, slightly higher on voice. Um, but overall the stats of the plate is looking fantastic. So you might want to pay attention to the four divas that is user, um, that you can use this episode plate on because maybe these four divas are within your list of divas that you would constantly use. Um, so you might want to consider investing into this plate because um, they are the divas of your choice. Alright, center skill. Unit total is in, uh, boosted by 20% up. So not the best center skill. So looking at it, I have a feeling that Cheryl's episode plate isn't exactly a center skill episode plate rather it's a support plate so let's take a look at its active skill so Cheryl's active skill is a life recovery of 50% so yeah I mean it has a pretty decent center center active skill um, and you know sometimes you need to use this kind of episode plates to clear missions and all that kind of stuff like the current event that we're going through life skill S rank as well, score and damage ability. So, if that's it, we definitely know that it's a, um, a, a effect that you know it lasts for 16 seconds. Then every second you're gonna lose 20 HP, and of course you get your 100% boost in score. So, is Cheryl is Cheryl's episode play actually worthwhile? Let's take a look at the last page first before deciding because sometimes episode plates with the special note will just boost the um, the rarity or rather the the rating of this episode play because um, that special note alone is going to make this plate all worthwhile even more so no special notes attached to it that's kind of a bummer but that's okay with decent stats and of course a pretty awesome li life skill um, this Cheryl episode plate is definitely going towards a higher tier of support based episode plates. So I guess we are definitely stepping into a very new era of um, Uta Macross where most of the plates now consist stats of 3600 and so. So yeah, let's take a look at Mikumo's one to see whether it's on par with Cheryl's or maybe even better. So Mikumo's, wow, 3,602, one point difference. <laughs> um, more, more stats on Soul, um, pretty decent stuff on Voice and Charm as well, almost the same as Cheryl's. So yeah, considering that Mikumo is kind of like the uh, modern generation of Cheryl, just with a bit more oomph in terms of 
personality, I guess, <laughs> because you know she's the mysterious Venus. Um, yeah. So center skill. Well, I guess uh, the units stats, units total stats was boosted by twenty five percent up when playing on the Inochi. Uh, element songs or rather you, if you guys don't really know what life or element is so I guess you consider it as the blue element song uh, which is equivalent to the element type of this episode played itself um, as well take note as um, I mean do take note of the four divas equipable with this plate surprisingly enough Ranka is one of them and it's not Cheryl so I'm not too sure. Does does this episode plate actually show Mikumo with more towards the um, shy girl's side of view? I suppose, um, considering that Milane and Ranka and Freya are within the batch of the divas equipable with this plate as well. So pretty interesting. Uh, food for thought. Okay, so let's take a look at the active skill. Um, life recovery of 50% so it's exactly the same as Cheryl in terms of skill um, however Mikumo's plate is more for a long duration song because it is equipped with a life skill for score repeat so yeah so for every 30 seconds it will activate for 7 seconds um, your score is boosted by 80% up so both plates both Cheryl and Mikumo's do um, different things I guess Cheryl is more towards a short duration song um, then of course Mikumos is more for a long duration song um, Yeah, so no special notes attached to Mikumos episode plate as well So that's kind of a bummer So both plates are fantastic in terms of stats And of course both plates are fantastic in terms of um, life supports with awesome skills So I guess it's just really what kind of episode plate you require um, whether you need one for a short duration song or maybe you need one for a long duration song that depends on your luck uh, of the draw or, and of course depending on your collection of your episode plates that you currently own so I guess invest in whichever one um, that you require more um, let's say for example you're lacking in the department for um, short duration songs or maybe you're lacking in the department for the long duration songs so go for whichever one you want or um, the simplest way just go for it because they are your favorite divas so <laughs> yeah so personally for myself I might not need them because I do have episode plates that um, do meet these requirements but you know considering that they are somewhat of an older generation of episode plates the stats definitely are lacking in that department um, so yeah all right so let's get back to the game itself and let's take a look at the two other gachas that I kind of need to talk about especially for the current one um, for Freya but let's talk about the one that has been going on for a pretty long time ever since the start of June because of Macross Crossover Live. So here we are, let's take a look at the Macross Crossover Live banner and one of the reasons why I decided to do this now is because well the boosted um, rate up for the episode plates it belongs to Ranka right now so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video at this point of time because I am going to try to pull episode plates for my darling Ranka Alright, so let's take a look at all the episode plates that are present, um, kind of. So, looking at the one that's currently boosted for rate up, um, 3,630, fantastic stats. I guess most of the episode plates for the crossover life are going to be like this. So, looking at Soul, Voice and Charm, um, pretty good stats all around. In fact, if you take note, all the episode plates for the crossover life versions are only usable by the divas who are on the illustration of the episode plate itself so as you can see this plate has Ranka, Kaname and Milane on it and um, yeah so it can only be used by these three divas so kind of kind of a bummer <laughs> all right so center skill for this episode plate so units total is boosted by 25% up when playing a Inochi song or blue song or life element song whichever one you want to go by um, not the best center skill out there uh, but that's fine all right so active skills for 12 seconds your combos do not break so not the best active skill out there as well that's kind of a bummer but let's take a look at the life skills so score and damage so immediately we can tell this episode play is meant to be a support 
and it's going to um, give you that 100% boost in score at the same time reducing your HP by 20 for every second it's activated. Yes, yeah, so let's see whether does this episode plate come with a special note and yes it does wow it comes with that score note so if you guys are high score achievers this episode plate is definitely looking towards a must have all right so let's take a look at the rest of the cross crossover life plates and see whether they are actually the same thing or not so this one is more for mikumo and cheryl so i guess for those who are the diva type fans i mean really really diva personality characters um if you guys don't know what i mean um cheryl has a very diva-ish uh, uh, personality when it comes to performing mikumo is exactly the same so she is kind of like a um, modern generation uh, modern generation version of cheryl so yeah so total score 3630 of I guess most of the cross crossover plates are pretty much in high stat value so I guess they're all going to be equivalently um, important when it comes to achieving high score in the future so it just depends on the element of the episode plate or maybe the diva that is your favorite in terms of usage um, seems like the total the center skill is pretty much the same um, just that this one is more in general use because it's just units total 20% up so um, Mikumo's and Cheryl's plate seems to be a bit more universal in terms of usage um, then of course active skill oh it's different so for 20 seconds um, yeah you will have an easier time tapping your notes and of course Mikumo's and Cheryl's has a different life skill as well so this one is more for a long duration song so I guess if you're just a generic Utah Macross player, I guess the skills does play a part in terms of what you should want to try and obtain. Um, even though we at this point of time that I'm recording this video, we have already passed two of the big red ups for two different episode plates for the crossover life, only one more to go. So that's kind of a bummer. But that doesn't mean you cannot actually obtain any of the old, um, other plates. Um, from the gacha itself con uh, aside from the one that's being boosted right now so special notes yes I so from looking at this <clears throat> it seems like all the episode plates are going to have that special note for um, the high score achievements so yeah so I guess all of them are going to be that way on ter in terms of build so let's take a look at Freya's and Minmei um, so yeah, all the stats are pretty much the same, just that whichever one they are slightly high, um, highly focusing on. Um, yeah, so Min Mei and Freya's, well, they focus on the Love Element song, or I, or Pink, whichever one you call it by. So yeah, so alright, so let's take a look at the rest of the stuff. Life Recovery, so each of the plates does have a different active skill. Um, and of course life skill as well but all the life skills are aiming towards high score achievement and of course I think this one as well has that note for high score yeah there it is so fantastic fantastic stuff all the crossover plates are meant to be used for obtaining high score purposes okay so let's take a look at the next one Basara, Reina, and Makina. I'm pretty surprised why Makina and Reina are together with Basara. Um, pretty strange combination if you ask me, but I guess Basara always needs backup singers. <laughs> Considering that, um, I guess, I guess it's time for Milane to have her own spotlight with the rest of the other girls out there. So, all right, so. Um, Looking at it, so this one focuses more on the Star Element song, Yellow Element song, uh, whichever one to call it by. And of course, um, this one prevents you from taking more damage in, so it's a defensive episode plate in terms of active skill. However, it is meant to be used for a long duration song, so yeah, take note of that. And once again, it comes with the score note. Alright, so pretty fantastic stuff all around. Um, so I guess we're gonna do a pool for this and uh, we're gonna see whether um, how things goes. I'm really hoping that I'll actually obtain this episode plate um, for Ranka's usage in the future and of course to help boost my high score achievements um, in the future to come. 
Alright, before we dive into the gacha pool itself, uh, I kind of forgot to record this portion so that's why I'm intruding into the video like this. So, if you guys didn't know, I did a post and mentioned that um, aside from the special plates that you can get from the gachas for Freya's brand new costume, there is one other thing that you need to pay attention to which is the Summer Sphere Exchange. So under the Summer Sphere Exchange, there is a brand new set of the core items that you can get but you can only obtain it if you actually purchase Singing Stones from the store. So once you have gotten enough spheres, you actually need a thousand. So let's take a look at the uh, Singing Stone shop to see the minimum amount of money that you actually need to spend to actually obtain 1000 singing spheres which is basically the 1000 singing stone pack which is 58 US dollars so yeah so if you guys have the money for it I would recommend you to do so since you can still get singing stones for gacha pools uh, that you really want to try uh, pulling and obtaining some plates from or maybe you know just because um, the, the core parts are going to help boost your um, trophy upgrades in the long run so yeah or maybe well if you are interested in the furniture set or the decor stuff that comes with it like some of the lovely um, items here like this stained glass window and of course I, I actually like this um <laughs> so or maybe even the wedding cake so yeah i don't know girls ladies um if you guys are interested in all the decor items i would highly recommend you to go and purchase a singing stone pack um and of course to to try and obtain this um special decor set that is only available through this uh, summer sphere exchange so anyway guys, um, if you guys have difficulty purchasing the singing stones due to region purposes, I guess um, you probably might want to try searching around the internet. There are means or ways to go around um, transacting such um, purchases uh, through each of your phones, um, I guess, Play Store. Like for myself, um, because I'm an Apple user, I have to purchase Japan's Apple gift cards. Um, to actually input credit into the app store to purchase the singing stones itself for android users if i'm not wrong you guys actually have it easier you can actually sync your local debit cards to the google play account and have the um the banks do the conversion and all that directly to your bank account so i think there are means for you guys to actually purchase singing stones easily um especially for android users you have probably a more easier time but you have various ways which is a hassle to go and research about so yeah for android uh, for apple users it's slightly a bit more easier um but a bit more expensive because of the exchange rate for purchasing the gift cards and of course well some online retailers do scam their users with insane amount of prices for the gift cards itself so anyway guys let's get back to the gacha pool okay, so let's do this gacha pool um definitely we want to try and unlock the valkyrie that's attached to the crossover live episode plates if you guys didn't know so yes it's the vf1j uh, crossover live special edition so yeah Pretty awesome stuff considering that you can see the logos of crossover life and of course the color theme as well attached to the vf1j all right so i don't know how many pools i'm gonna do i do have enough for five pools and 10 um, 10 plate pools so um i do want to keep one available for freya's gacha as well so i guess the maximum i can go for crossover life is four so hopefully i I don't have to spend that many <laughs> just praying um, for some decent luck at least all right so here we go a bit of loading because well it is a crossover episode plate definitely we won't see um, it often or you know coming back anytime soon all right so here we go one one plane that's kind of a bummer for the beginning but that's okay I, I kind of expected it um, so yeah there you go, the only red box that we have. Let's skip all the common stuff. Um, hopefully, we do get some decent commons and uncommon plates as well because 
I, I do kind of want to evolve some of the ones that I don't have uh, completed yet. There we go, let's keep going. Ooh, nice. Alright, here's the only red box. So, no evolution. We do get a Mirage. I'm pretty happy about it. I don't think I have this though. Hmm. Let's see, is it new? Yeah, it's new for me. So, pretty good, decent amount of new. We do have um, Arat's episode plate evolving at the same time. We've got a few uh, those of those episode plates with secret bots unlocked. So, pretty nice. Um, not too bad, not complaining. Um, just want to check out which costume does this one belong to. Okay, so it's Reina's uh, Blau Bloom. How about this? Uh, Reina's Blau Bloom. I guess most of them belongs to Reina. Um, apparently not. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Mirages belongs to who? Oh, okay, Mikumo. So, alright, going to restart the luck again. So, in and out. Alright, here we go, second round. Hopefully, I do get at least a copy. Alright. With some loading there, but um, you know, sometimes loading doesn't really mean anything. So, oh, we get a golden op off the bat, so fantastic. We get a guaranteed rainbow box, but okay, we get four red boxes, so there is a chance, I guess. Hopefully, um, some of the red boxes will evolve. No evolution, okay, that's kind of a bummer, but that's fine. More episode plates means more secret bots unlocked, and of course, that means luck is boosted. So, pretty, pretty happy there, not complaining. Here we go, second red box. Lots of Freya! Interesting. <laughs> There we go, the only rainbow ones. No, no, it's not the crossover life plate, but okay, it's something that I don't have, so that's not too bad. Uh, at least it's uh, a lot of Valkyrie plates though. <laughs> yep, lots of Macross Delta plates. Oh, Osma, big bro, okay. I don't have this as well, so that's not a complaint. There we go. One more red one. Lots of Freya. I think this episode plate is going towards the plus. I wonder how many pluses do... Oh, it, it, it evolved. Okay, so it's a brand new one for me. So that's not looking good in terms of the luck value. But that's okay. It's it's always good to have more extra costume points. Um, yeah, so let's see. Which one does this belong to? Oh. Oh my. So this is a pretty old plate considering that it belongs to the Blau Bloom costume. Okay, so let's exit out, re-enter again. Hopefully the third time's the charm. I'm hoping for it. I do at least wish to have at least one copy of the Macross crossover life plate. Even if it doesn't belong to Ranka, I'll be pretty happy with it. <laughs> so far we haven't really gotten points for the Valkyrie as well, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, don't. I hope I don't have to spend more money on it. So three planes, not looking good. Alright, so one red box off the first bling. Oh dear lord, this is not looking good at all. Okay, so lots of repeats. Uh, so I guess most of these plates will be getting... Oh, Isamu, okay. Um, at least we do get a Macross Plus episode plate. I hope the red box evolves. Okay, that Mikumo plate is definitely looking towards a very high luck value. Oh, we get another Mirage! At least we get to evolve it, so not complaining once again. <laughs> that picture is just adorable. Okay, so here we go, the whole bunch of evolved episode plates plus those that has the secret bots unlocked. Um, okay, I guess this is my final pool for now. Um, I do have um, credits stored up somewhere on the App Store, so if I have to go and purchase Singing Stones, I guess I should, I could do that, but you know, that'd be off screen pulling by itself already. <laughs> so, alright, so here's the last pull for the crossover live before we head over to Freya. Alright, one, two, three, we get a four, five, no, so the luck remains stagnant. One red box off the first bling, two red boxes, so hopefully 
either one of them evolves. Alright, lots of repeats as usual. Oh. There we go, the first red box. So no evolution, that's a bummer. I don't think I have this in Milane plate as well, so hmm. There we go. And Mirage's plate gets a plus one luck. So pretty fantastic, I guess. I'm hoping to have like a oh I do have a copy of that plate, so nice to see evolve. Uh yeah, like I was saying, it's I, I it's good to I, I hope I hope to actually obtain the full set of Mirage's plates to kind of do a full diva setup with Mirage. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how that how that will go in the future. So anyway guys, we're done with my cross cross over life. My luck is not there at all. It's horrendous. So hopefully Freya will bless me with something because Let's go take a look at the plate and see whether actually her new plate... Oh, immediately off the bat, we get to see that it has a 3,601 total score. So that's 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 all the new plates that has been um, doing so far, I guess, with stats like that. So, pretty fantastic. 3,601. Wow. So all the new plates are definitely going into a new um, direction of tier for Uta Macross. So, center skill, total A and life A, hmm, units total and life is boosted by 20% up, so pretty okay even though it's an S rank, 20% isn't exactly a lot, uh, but I guess if you if you do need to use this episode plate to boost your total life because maybe you want to um, survive or clear a mission that requires your HP to be at a certain percentage, I guess this episode plate is definitely the way to go. Life recovery of 30%, so not the best healing ability, so I guess the life skill is the one to go. Score and damage, yes it is. So, 16 seconds uh, activation, and every second your life is depleted by 20, H and your score is boosted by 100% up. So, any special notes attached to the plate? Sadly to say no. Um, the divas equipable with the plate, definitely Min Mei will be there because Freya is... Um, kind of like a descendant, not really the descendant, but more like a, a modern generation or version of Min Mei in a way. <laughs> so yeah, so is this plate actually worthwhile? I would say it's on, on the par of Cheryl and Mikumo like we've seen in the last event. Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly very useful except for its life skill support. So since Cheryl and Mikumo are both ele blue element plates or the life yeah, Inochi element plate as well. Um, I guess it really depends on which diva you really want to invest in if it ever returns. If you are a Freya fan, I guess you can definitely go towards getting this diva's episode plate. Um, however, because this event currently that's going on is a repeat event, um, Dana has actually been sliding in some episode plates that um, that you can't actually equip in, to your divas that only give you costume points i have the image here if you guys are familiar with this because we have definitely seen episode plates of these kinds uh, being distributed distributed out before um it you can actually obtain it from the free gachas i did obtain mine from the free gacha pools uh, daily and of course you can actually get it from here as well so yes the main thing from this gacha is definitely unlocking uh, freya's brand new costume um, if you're a freya fan i guess you definitely want to try and aim for freya's main new episode plate but however in terms of usefulness, I say, um, well, it depends on which diva that you actually want to focus on, and of course, which divas are equipable with the plates as well. You might want to pay attention to, um, you know, the skills of the episode plate alongside with the divas equipable with the plate itself. So yeah, for me personally, if I don't obtain Freya's episode plate, I think it's fine as long as I am able to unlock a costume. That's all good to me. Alright, so here we go. I only have enough for one template pool for Freya. This is the last gacha pool for this video. So hopefully, um, we get to see something nice considering the poor horrendous pools I had for crossover life. <laughs> Alright, so oh my goodness, what is this? So this entire video is a roller coaster downhill. Ooh! Just when I said we were going downhill. 
That was a surprise. Okay. So let's see. Is this the one? Is this Freya? Yes, it is! Holy crap! I was not asking for it, but it came out. <laughs> uh, Freya, what are you trying to pull? You know you're not my kami, so... I don't know. Well, you do... You do... Oh, there we go! We get the episode plate that gives the costume points, so I think... Oh, it evolved! Holy crap! Cheryl! Why... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This video has ended in an epic proportion. <laughs> Freya! Oh wow! She really wants me to gain her costume and her fully evolved episode play. What is going on? Oh my goodness. Ranka, you're disappointing me in so many ways right now. <laughs> Even look! Your, your Kohai is doing... Okay, there you are, Ranka. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for dishing out on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. I I don't think I can ever do a video that is equivalently as good as this anymore. Oh my goodness. We are definitely going to see that pop-up window that says I have enough points for the costume. There it is. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Oh. Okay. So, like I was saying, yeah, even, even Ranka's junior is like... Uh... Stepping up her game towards my account. I don't know, Ranka, why? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know whether you guys can actually pull off a better pool like I did here, but I'm sure somewhere out there in the Ultra Macross universe, a player has probably gotten a way better pool than this. This is probably one of my better pools in my. I guess coming to two years of creating Uta Macross content. There have been there have been somewhat similar um, awesome pools before, but they were kind of like um, two separate template pools instead of a whole thing together. So I don't know guys. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> I did not actually expect to end the video this well. So hmm, <laughs> I guess we can expect maybe the next few videos to be as horrendous as always. I don't know. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Uh, hopefully you guys like the info I shared. Uh, maybe, it may, maybe it opened an inside view on which gacha to focus on in the future if you've missed out any of them like I did. I'm definitely going to have to pull Cheryl's um, wedding dress gacha um, when it comes around again because I completely did not obtain the... Uh, points for that costume at all so if that costume does get an alternate color or kiawawa unlock um, that's gonna be an issue so anyway guys i'll see you guys soon bye